Good morning, my friends. It is Tuesday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. Uh, for those doing Be Formed, we're in day 26. And it's also the optional memorial for St. Faustina Kowalska, who uh, Jesus revealed to her the Divine Mercy uh, image and uh, this devotion that is spread around the world. Um, this is our second day in Rome. We're here in front of the Hotel Club House Roma, our hotel. So yesterday we got in 5.30 a.m. Rome time, and then we we took a kind of a bus tour of Rome. We stopped and walked around the Colosseum, got a little rest because it was everybody was exhausted, and then uh, had mass and went out for a nice dinner, and then um, you know came back to the hotel. So day two today we're going to be going to the catacombs, and uh, I'll send you some daily short videos of what we're experiencing today. But real quick about the readings, we have the prophet Jonah. Uh, the second installation, if you will. We know that Jonah wanted to run away from his call to preach to Nineveh. He got swallowed by the large large fish, uh, brought him back to where he started. And so today we hear how he obeys God's uh, will. And what happens is all of Nineveh, from the king down to the animals, put on sackcloth and ashes and fasted, and they turned away from their evil deeds. So there's many messages there that, you know, God... God's will is for the salvation of souls. And he might call us to do things we're not, we don't want to do. We may not follow him at first, but he gives us second and third chances. He equips the called. This was not an easy mission that God gave him, but uh, you know, single-handedly, Jonah was able to convert all of Nineveh and that the people responded. And uh, maybe in surprising ways, uh, People are looking for the good news of Jesus Christ. And, uh, you know, whether they realize it or not, that's what their their hearts are looking for. And then the gospel today from Luke chapter 10, uh, we have the story of Mary and Martha, something that we're very familiar with that, you know, Jesus was friends with Lazarus and his sisters, Mary and Martha. Martha was uh, a busy body. She was always... You know, she had the gift of hospitality and helping, and sometimes we can downplay Martha's gifts, but she had a real gift for hospitality. Mary had the gift of, of sitting at the feet of Jesus, and, and Jesus tells Martha, 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 you're busy about many things, but Mary's chosen the better part. We need that quiet time, and just want to encourage you, if you're, if you're not comfortable in silence, to start to... Put yourself in that place, especially in front of the Blessed Sacrament, if possible. I remember being afraid of silence because it's in the silence that we encounter God and ourselves, and both of them scared me. Uh, but once I started going, and I started just like, you know, getting good at anything, prayer takes practice, and I started to not only be comfortable with the silence, but I craved it. God speaks to us in that silence. I'm always reminded of Mother Teresa of Calcutta, who said, you know, her sisters would get at least one holy hour in the morning. And when the work was really hard, they would do two. And so they didn't try to do God's work without God. Uh, it was all based and founded in prayer. So just want to encourage you today is uh, maybe you're busy about many things and often many good things like Martha. But to make sure that we spend some quiet time in prayer with the Lord. Uh, you know, Jonah, I think after he realized what God did through him, uh, when he listened, uh, what God wants to do through us. God wants to do amazing things in and through us if we give him the time and silence to let him speak to our hearts. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the gift of prayer. We thank you for the gift of silence. Uh, I thank you for the opportunity to be on this pilgrimage with these 32 great people. Just ask you to keep us safe and uh, help all of us grow in our relationship with your son, Jesus, through quiet prayer. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day. Uh, keep us in prayer and count on our prayers for, for all of you today. And we'll see you tomorrow.